Jordan and Paul, Pablo Sidse, out having an adventure. I'm in LA and uh, just visiting family, having a good time. And you know what I always do is play lots of disc golf and lots, smoke lots of weed. So today I'm here at uh, PFC James Anderson Jr. Memorial Park. Pretty cool little park. I thought it was gonna be all sketchy gangland, who knows, but it's a, this one's pretty challenging. I can't find the tee off for hole number three, but I'm gonna keep looking. Uh, to get, it's starting to get dark, so I might have to uh, play a speed game get through this real quick. So anyhow, uh, that's what I'm doing today. Thanks for coming yeah, out. So I just got done throwing around uh, at this park, and it's pretty cool. I like it, it's a little sketchy, I don't know if you can see. There's a, a lot of playgrounds, a lot of out of bounds. It was a little difficult. I parted the course, but uh, it's it's small. It reminds me of uh, my home course, Riverside Park, there in Grants Pass. Pretty cool little course. I had fun. Uh, I also went to Mills Park here in Carson. This is in California, by the way, Carson, California. Uh, here on vacation in LA area, visiting family, having lots of fun, taking on all kinds of adventures. And my other adventure here is the badass rental car. Dig it. Get to bomb around here with a whole bunch of power behind me, not a little ghetto car like I got. Uh, I'm going to be going to the beach sometime here soon. That should be a lot of fun. I'm going to take you to some of my uh, most sacred spots where I used to hang out when I was a kid. And, uh, you know, go surfing, bo boogie boarding, body surfing, all that kind of stuff, hanging out. Take you down there, that's at Redondo Beach Pier. And I'll be going to Hermosa Beach, check out the Strand. Uh, I don't know if I can rent a skateboard or not, that would be cool. I haven't skated in a few years. It'd be really fun to skate down the Strand. It's like a sidewalk that goes along the beach there. And everybody just bikes and walks and skates and everything. It's a really good time out there. A lot of cool people, it's good vibes out there on the beach. I always felt safe here in California when I was growing up here. Could always get away from gangland, going there to the beach. It was like sacred ground. Nobody messed with you there, no gangs, nothing like that. So I definitely want to go back there and uh, possibly take a trip to my old neighborhood where I lived in. I lived in this little uh, trailer park when I was a kid and uh, seemed real big, but I'm sure it's a tiny little trailer park because I'm all adult now and I was little then. So uh, it'll be fun. I haven't been back there in a lot, very, very long time. And maybe look where my old school, I heard my old neighborhood has changed a lot. There's a lot of high rise buildings there and uh, my grandmother's restaurant that used to be there, they tore that down. And I guess it's a whole different city. This is all, all here in Carson, California. Uh, I used to live right off of Carson Street and Grace Avenue. I don't know if any of you ever, ever seen um, the remake of Gone in 60 Seconds. I think it was Nicolas Cage that was in it. Uh, they drove right past the street that I lived on. It was pretty cool. I remember seeing that on the movie, and I was like, "Hey, my home, you know, my hometown, right on, cool." So, uh, yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in. This has uh, been a lot of fun doing these vlogs. I'm gonna keep it going, and hopefully, you guys tune in and watch it. Thanks for being here, though. Peace. So, sitting in my rental car, it's a little too warm to get going, and realized, oh yeah, haven't smoked out in a little while. So, uh, time for the vape pen. If any of you ever use these, they're fucking awesome. <laughs> It'd be really cool to see, like, uh, I don't know, a gang fight or maybe a police chase and get some of that footage. <laughs> Not to say that it would be cool because it happens, you know, but if I was in the right place at the right time, you never know. This is LA, fucking anything happens here. Uh, one thing I noticed about the two parks I did go to, um, I was like worried about gangs or, you know, just bad people, was, you know, this is the ghetto neighborhood and all that. Um, but it seemed like they cleaned up the parks. They're, they're really family orientated. You can't even smoke cigarettes in the park. You saw in the last video, I was smoking a cigarette in the parking lot, away from all the kids and everything. Um, yeah, it's real family orientated. I saw uh, a lot of a lot of kids out playing. Like even now, it's dark and there's still children out there on the swing set having fun. And it's really good to see that that the communities come together and, and maybe you know made some of these parks safe for people to come and hang out. You know, little kids and stuff. And 
you know, it's a lot different than when I lived here. I no way would I go into a park at night, you know, no way. <laughs> so uh, that's a, something positive for this world, you know. Maybe maybe things are turning around down here a little bit, and uh, some good vibrations going. Kind of freaked me out. A car came pulling in the parking lot real fast. I'm like, oh, there's my gangland shit. <laughs> but no, it's just somebody in a hurry to park, I guess. I don't know. So uh, thanks for tuning in to all my uh, stupid stories and adventures. And I'm going to bring you lots more adventures for whatever. I don't know. Grady Man. Peace.